Welcome back, I'm Devi, and I'm excited to lead you through the Animal Parade Yang Yoga sequence. The sequence is pretty short, but it's going to take some time to learn the movements that go into it and to warm the body up. And this will be a heat building practice, good for a cardiovascular exercise, good for getting weight into the arms and shoulders and strengthening the upper body. So let's begin standing up with the legs a little bit wider than the shoulders. Standing with the legs nice and solid here and start to wiggle your tailbone a little bit, make some circles with the pelvic bowl and then circle around two or three times the other way. And come back to a centered position. Feel the spine inside the body as you close your eyes. Feel the verticality of the spine, the support of the legs. And breathing three deep breaths in and out. And letting the eyes open up as you circle the arms around, palms face up, start to bend your knees. You can turn your toes out if you want to. And take the arms over the head and bring the hands down to the heart level. Press them out into open horse pose. And now bend forward into elephant pose. So straighten the legs, take the toes forward or whatever angle feels good. And relax forward with your legs. So stretching into the backs of the legs, the backs of the hamstrings and the back of your torso, your spine, the back of the neck, releasing the head, the chin down toward the chest. And now lifting the chest a bit and side lunging, bend into your right knee and come out over the right leg. And I'll do a mirror image of you for, for this whole practice. So I'm doing the opposite of what I'm saying, but just use me as a mirror image as you come back up to center and bend over your left leg. So you might have your heel coming up or you might keep it on the floor. Either way is fine here as you come back up to the first side. And maybe your hips want to stay a little bit higher. That's fine. Or maybe you feel good about coming low like that. And back up to center, second side, walking the hands over. And this leg can do different angles with the toes, exploring in the side lunges. One more time on each side. Very good. And now we'll bring it back up to the center, to the elephant pose, bending forward, relaxing down here chin toward the chest and now lift up your chest and press your left hand under your heart on the ground and twist lifting the right arm up elephant twist breathing here squeezing between the shoulder blades as you really bring that arm farther back and now take it down to center and to the other side right hand down left arm reaching up squeezing the upper back And coming back down to the center. Now take this left hand, cross it over toward the opposite foot or maybe even contacting the opposite foot and twist your right arm up into the air. So this is a little more of a forward bending in the spine as you twist. And bring it back down to the center. Second side, right hand to the left foot, lifting up to twist. Breathing one more breath and bring it back down. And now taking this left hand on top of the left foot and opening up and reaching the arm up and back and finding more of a back bend here. And you can play around here with whether this foot turns farther out to the side so that you are suddenly in maybe something that looks more like a triangle pose. Finding the back bend here. And bring it back down and to the second side. So your right hand on top of your right foot. Feel free to use blocks or to modify here. The hand can be on the leg instead of on the foot. Good. 
Great, and now taking it into a lunge over this right leg. So bending the back knee, or uh, letting the knee come down onto the ground, and sweeping the arms up over the head into a low dragon lunge. And take the arms out so your dragon wings come out through the elbows, palms face forward. Squeezing the back body, sinking down through the hips. Finding your breath. And now taking the hands down to the earth, shift your hips back to come into half split pose, coming forward over the front leg. So starting to warm up into the hamstrings, which we want to have nice and open for this, um, for the sequence that we're moving into. And come forward onto the front leg, tuck the back toes, walk back through elephant pose, and right over to the other side, left toes to the left, back knee down, and sweep it up into this low dragon pose. Reach the arms up and then open it out, elbows out, chest open. Finding the back bend here, and it helps to sink through the hips, sink down through the right hip, especially. Lifting up through the heart, one more breath, and now exhaling, hands to the earth, coming into this half split pose, drawing the toes back toward you. Relaxing forward a little bit more, a couple more breaths. You can let your spine round. Bring it forward now onto the front leg. Lift the back leg up. Walk back to elephant pose in between your feet. And now for elephant, we'll take it forward, walking the hands in front and placing some weight on the hands as well as the legs. So you feel more like a, a four-legged animal than a two-legged animal. And now let's experiment with lifting one hand up. Lift your right hand up. And just feel the weight coming on those three other limbs about equally, hand and two feet. And now other hand, left arm coming up. Very good. And now we take the right leg up. You can just bend the leg or whatever you want to do with the leg to feel balanced. And now take it to the other side. Your left leg comes up and try and get the weight as evenly as you can between the two hands and the other leg. All right, now we take it into mongoose pose. So going to lift your left hand and your right leg and take the right leg through, threading it through. So my butt is not on the ground, but it can be pretty close depending on how much weight. If you lift your butt higher, you've got more weight on that hand on the ground. If you let it sink lower, you're gonna bring the weight more into the leg. Bring it back to elephant, both hands, both feet on the ground. Take a moment to rest. And now the second side. So your weight comes onto your left hand, your right hand lifts, and then this left foot comes through. Mongoose pose, second side. Good, come back up to the center. Try it one more time to the first side. Right leg to the left. The hand is kind of incidental, could do whatever. And back up, back to elephant, and second side. Left leg to the right. Back up. And now experimenting with a little bit of jumping between these two. So the first side. And now a quick transition looks like this. And a quick transition to the first side and a quick transition to the second side. So you know by now if the jumping is for you or not, and you'll use that as we move into animal parade with the mongoose pose, which we'll do more of. So now coming into a standing position with your hands up on your hips. And we'll start moving through animal parade step by step, taking the hands to your low belly to begin. Taking three breaths here, feeling your body.
feeling your breath. And now sweep the arms out, bring them up over the head. And as you exhale, turn your right toes out to the right and take it into triangle pose. With your left hand doing whatever feels good, you could reach it across, you could move it around in circles, or you could do that traditional triangle pose. So about three breaths here. And now taking it over the right leg into pyramid pose. You could use blocks under the hands if you like. You could shorten your stance or widen your stance, whatever feels right here, starting to stretch into the hamstrings of your right leg. Bow forward over the leg. You can also get some more stretch in the spine by letting your head and shoulders relax down more. And now walking the hands back in between the feet for elephant. And from elephant, walk the hands forward so they will come off of your mat if you're on a mat, most likely. Now taking your right leg to the left. So weight comes on to the right hand. And this is number one. We're going to do this seven times. So one, and back to elephant, and two. Left leg to the right, back to elephant. And three, back, and number four, to center. Number five, release. Number six, release. And number seven. And staying here in seven, and bring this top hand behind you, coming into this position called otter. And you can let your hips hang. Just enjoy this here, a little bit of hanging of the shoulders, hanging like a hammock. From otter, take your right hand, bring it around, and into a dog pose and bend your knees toward the screen, so toward your left, and bring them back up to center, and bend the knees the other way. So this is bear pose. Back up to center, bear pose, third time. And this will do six times total. Up to center, and four. Up to center, five. Up to center, last time, six. Back up, downward dog, three breaths. Lift your right leg up and back behind you. Three-legged dog, and exhale, take the leg forward. Walk the hands around to come back to elephant, and hang an elephant for three breaths, resting. Good, sweep the arms out, come all the way up to standing, circle the arms over the head, and taking it down, hands come to the heart and all the way to the belly. And now circling up once again, inhale and exhale to triangle pose over your, let me say your left leg. And three breaths here. Again, you can do whatever angle here feels good with this top arm. And now we take it down over the left leg into pyramid. Shorten or widen the distance between your feet as you wish. Use blocks if you'd like under the hands. You could also bend this front knee to make this easier. And now walk the hands to come in between the feet for elephant pose, hanging an elephant. And now it's your left foot going over to the right. So walk the hands forward, place the weight on the hands, and then left foot to the right, and your right arm comes up. Mongoose pose, number one. Back, number two. Back to center. And the third time. And now perhaps seeing about jumping to the fourth and to the fifth. Or keep it back with both feet on the ground at all times. And continuing, 
hand. Next to last one, and here's the very last one. Take this right hand all the way back. Otter pose. Couple breaths here. And from otter, taking the left hand around to come into downward dog, and the legs come right into the bear pose, facing the screen. So you'll always face this same direction forward. And back up to center, second time, bear pose. Inhale up, three times. Inhale up, number four. Inhale up, fifth time. And back up, last time. Downward dog, three breaths. And lift the left leg up and back. Step the left leg forward. Walk the hands in between the feet, elephant. And rest. Very good, circle the arms, sweep them up. And exhaling, bringing it down, guide the chi down through the head, the heart, and to the belly. So that was the full cycle on two sides. Let's do this a couple more times. Inhaling and circling, and now coming over your right leg into triangle. Three breaths, your version, your variation of triangle. And now bringing it over this front leg. Three breaths here. And walk the hands in between the feet for elephant. Take the hands forward to get some weight onto them. And now right foot to the right side. One and two and three. And four, and five, and six, and seven. Stay here, bring it into otter. From otter, downward dog, right arm comes up and over, right into bear, knees toward me, and up. Bear number two, and up, and three, and up. Guess what, you can jump in between these two, number four. So here comes a jump after number five into number six. Good, back to the center. Downward dog, three breaths. Good, lifting the right leg up and back. And take a step forward. Walk the hands in between the feet. Elephant, three breaths. And sweeping the arms, come all the way up. And now we exhale over the left leg into triangle pose, right into the second side. Three breaths. And after the next exhale, we come down over this front leg, pyramid pose, angle the back foot as you need to. And now walk the hands in between the feet. Now it's going to be left hand to the right. So walk the hands forward to catch some weight on the hands. And here we go, mongoose one. I'm gonna jump this time, number two. Number three, you don't have to jump, you can keep both feet on the ground. Number four, and five, and six, and seven. And now otter. And from otter, downward dog, right into bear. Bend the knees, one and two. Maybe you'll jump to three and to four and to five and to six. Back up, downward dog, three breaths. So you can still get quite a good workout here without doing any of the jumping, without getting any air. Lift your left leg up and back. Step it forward, lunge. Walk the hands between the legs. 
elephant three breaths. Good, circle the arms, come up. And exhale, guide the chi down through the head, through the spine. Bring this energy down to the Dantian. All right, two more sides. One more round, two more sides. Here we go. This is the full sequence. Exhaling it down over your right leg, triangle pose, three breaths. And now down over this right leg in pyramid. And into elephant pose. Hands come forward, weight, bet- on the, weight onto the hands, and right foot to the right. One, and two, oh, and three, and four, and five. And six, last time, seven, right into otter. And into dog pose. Bear, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and back to dog, three breaths. Right leg up and back. Step the leg forward, walk the hands back in between the feet, elephant pose. And circle the arms to come all the way up. Inhale here. As you exhale, come over your left leg, triangle pose. And right down into pyramid. Good, bring it down, hands in between the feet for elephant once again, and now it's the left foot coming over to the right, so weight forward on the hands, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, last one, stay here. Come to otter, and into dog, and the bear, knees to your right, and left and the third time fourth time fifth last time to dog three breaths and left leg up and back big step forward to lunge walk the hands in between for elephant And circle the arms to come all the way up. And guide the chi down through the head, through the heart, all the way to the belly. And close the eyes, holding the breath here with your arms resting at your sides. Narrow your legs to a comfortable distance. Three breaths here. And let the eyes open back up. Turn your right toes to the right and come over this front leg into a lunge. Take it back into downward facing dog and drop the knees into child. And coming forward onto your belly for sphinx or seal. So for our cool down, we're going to move through animal postures. We've been doing almost all animal named postures in this sequence for our warm up and cool down. The seal pose is our animal posture. Sphinx pose, if you stay down on the elbows, that's also, that's a mythical animal, right? The sphinx, as far as I know, they're not real. But then again, we could say the same thing about the dragons. But we're okay with mythical animals. 
but we're just avoiding the postures that are named after insects, which there are actually a surprisingly many of them in yin yoga, insect named poses. So holding your seal or your sphinx, if you want to keep it lower down. Legs can be wider or narrower as you wish. And releasing down, press the hips up and back, child's pose, feeling the lower back. And coming up and onto your back to finish off with a spinal twist. I'm going to get my timer here for two minutes on each side. So bringing the knees in and over to the right side. Any version or variation of the yin spinal twist that calls to you right now. Whoops, it's not. Noticing your energy after all of that work in the cardiovascular system, all of that pumping of the heart, heating up of the muscles, especially the upper body. Notice the energy moving and swirling around your heart, your shoulders, your upper spine, and even your head and your face. And bring it back up to the center, twist over to the second side. Continuing to observe your body, observe what's happening in your system as you move toward more stillness, as your nervous system responds and as the pulse of your heart responds. What do you feel in your skin? What do you feel in your hands and your feet? Bring the legs back up to the center now 
and stretch out into a final relaxation, arms long, legs long, or any kind of extra props you'd like to use here to make yourself totally comfortable. And maybe spreading out into full on yin yang shavasana style in the, uh, the starfish pose with everything spread way out. Feeling the energy flowing through this vessel of the body, through these arms and these legs, and ultimately making their way, making its way, the energy of the spine, the breath, the chi flowing into and out of the spinal column. and enjoying this rhythm of the body, the rhythm of the breath. If you can still feel the pulse of your blood, notice, enjoy, and immerse in it. Immerse in the action of this heart, in the rhythms of this body. And I will leave you here. Feel free to rest as long as you'd like. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this practice. And if you'd like to go deeper with me, check out my membership site where my community of yogis follows a daily yoga schedule and immersive programs in yin and yang yoga. You can meet up with us there at devidailyyoga.com. And take a look at the first pinned comment down below where you can find my latest special offer. And if you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my latest yoga videos. And lastly, if you made it this far, please leave a comment down below and let me know you were here. Thank you so much for practicing with me, and I will see you next time.